my name is Lottie and if you're a subscriber welcome back to my channel today I am filming a haul video which I'm really excited about because I haven't filmed a haul video I think since like back to school I almost always end up buying some things in May when I get out of school before the summer starts just because I've either run out of it I need some upgraded items stuff like that just looking forward to the summer and what I might need so I'm really excited to share with you guys what I got today I got some shoes some tops that I might wear to work or just like might be good for the summer and then I got some new skincare and makeup from Sephora. So I'm really excited about everything I'm going to show you guys today. Also, make sure you're following me on Instagram if you're not already. It's like one of my favorite platforms um, right after YouTube. And it's a really great way to keep up with me outside of my videos. But my handle's just at Lottie Smalley. My name, really simple. So I'd love to have you on there. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I guess we'll go ahead and get started. So for clothes that I got for like the summer for work, if you didn't know, I am a rising senior. How am I a senior? At the University of Georgia studying public relations and this summer I'm actually interning in Atlanta Georgia with coca-cola as a communications intern so I'm supposed to be getting first day details really soon I'm not totally sure of the dress code yet so this is just kind of my guess I went to forever 21 because I know that they have some less expensive like just collared shirts so I went and tried on like literally 12 different collared shirts there I ended up getting two I don't know if these will end up working for work or not I think that one of them definitely will and then hopefully the other one will but both of them have collars and sleeves so I think that they should be just fine so this first one they're both from forever 21 um, this first one was $17.90 this is a peplum style top and it has these like white buttons um, only one of them is buttoned but it just goes down and I think it's really flattering just because it is more of like that peplum style so it's not like loose and baggy but it's just this like kind of like has stripes and then like a floral kind of print over it but um, I just thought that this would be nice. I like the peplum style because I think it was really flattering. And it's just light for summer. It's short sleeves. So just finding as many like cute collared short sleeve shirts as I can is really important. And then the other top that I got is this green striped one. And it just has a collar. It is long sleeve, but you can like roll it up. And it's light. It's like not super like heavy material and it just goes down and then it ties at the bottom it has these little ties so you can just tie it up a little bit um, I like this because a lot of my dress pants sit like more up on my hips I wouldn't say that they're like high-waisted but they are like right at my hips they're not like low I just thought the green was fun um, and it was just light and I thought it was good looking and would be perfect for my internship and this one was $17.90 as well so um, if you guys are looking for less expensive like under $20 tops that you might be able to wear to a more formal internship I think that forever 21 is definitely a good resource um, obviously there's places like anthropology and um, Nordstrom revolve that'll have like really nice uh, more expensive ones but if you're looking just to like build up your wardrobe without breaking the bank I think that forever 21 um, has some really good options okay and then a few of the other items that I got I went to altered state which my mall in Chattanooga just got altered state so that's exciting. It kind of gives me off like anthropology vibes, but it's not quite as expensive. So I'll pull out everything because the bag's gonna be like loud one second. So I got three different items at Altered State. I got two tops and one romper. The romper obviously I can't wear to work, but I just thought it was really cute and it fit me really well. And I have issues finding rompers that fit me well just because I'm really tall. And so a lot of the times like it's the proportions are just off, but I found one. So I'll go ahead and start with that since I'm talking so much about it. So this is the romper. It is just like a navy, blue, green, pink, white kind of colors. And um, it's like V in the front, bun sleeves, shorts, and then it ties around the waist. So I think it's really cute and it ties in the back, which I like. It was just really cute and nice and light and I thought it would be good for summer so I picked that up it just caught my eye and I needed it apparently and then I got this top which was actually on sale I think for like $30 which I thought was a pretty good deal it was originally 60 and this is just like this white and navy blue striped shirt and it has kind of like a floral print to it it's kind of bohemian and this is definitely more my style for work which I really like this is one of my favorite work tops that I got it's very light um, just throw this on with like my navy slacks and some loafers and it'll be really easy to wear so I'm really excited about this and it's just really soft and nice and light for summer so that'll be perfect and then the last stop that I got from Altered State is a collared short sleeve tie shirt so it's just yellow striped and then it has like longer little pieces in the front so you can tie it up I thought this would be a good versatile shirt to get 
for summer. It calls it like a gold color, which is like actually kind of true, but it's like kind of like a yellow mustard color, which I really love for summer especially. So those are some of the clothes that I picked up this week, just in anticipation of my internship starting. And now we'll move on to Sephora, which I was so excited to go to Sephora. I can stay in there. I probably was in there for like an hour or maybe even more. I seriously just have such an obsession with beauty products. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I got today. All right, so this is my bag. She looks little, but she packs a lot of punch. There's quite a few products in here. I got a lot of skincare items that I've been wanting to try that I've been hearing so many great things about on Instagram and YouTube. So I have been dying to try Junk Elephant. Um, they send so many YouTubers um, like PR packages. And I'm like, how do I get on that list? I really, really want to try like all of their products. I just got one product. I've tried this with a sample actually and I loved it. So um, I decided to get the full size and that is just the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream, which is their strengthening moisturizer. And I have dry skin. So I felt like if I was going to splurge on an item from Drunk Elephant, it should definitely be the moisturizer because that's something that I'll definitely use like every day and night. The packaging is so cool, you guys. So like get the moisturizer out, you like push this pump and then it comes out. It's just such cool packaging in my opinion. I'm sure I'll show you guys in like a makeup video soon because I always, always moisturize before I put my makeup on, uh, after I wash my face, everything like that. So I know I'll get a ton of use out of this and I'm so, so excited to use it for summer. The next thing I picked up is the Laneige, 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 Laneige. I think it's Laneige. Forgive me, I don't know how to pronounce it. I've really only seen it on Instagram, so I haven't heard people like say it, but the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in vanilla. And they had another, um, like the original, um, scent but I smelled both of them and I thought the vanilla smelled a little better to me so basically this is an overnight lip mask so you just put some of this on your lips before you go to bed and then you wake up and your lips should be like silky smooth so it just comes like this in a little pot and this one smells so good. I love a vanilla smell, especially for a lip balm. So I'm really excited to try this. You can obviously just use your finger, but this came with a little applicator thing right here, if you guys can see. Um, and it's just like rubber. So you can just like scoop it out and put it on your lips. And I will definitely let you guys know what I think about like all of this. I actually forgot to mention, I did get one other thing from Drunk Elephant, which I didn't pay for because it was a reward point thing for my VIB Beauty Insider thing. And this is a little dual thing from Drunk Elephant. It looks like this, so it just comes with two products, which I have not tried either of these, so I'm excited and looking forward to trying these. Next thing that I picked up is a face wash, and I've used this one before. It's my absolute favorite. If I could recommend a face wash, it would be this one. This product has been absolutely amazing for me. I love this facial cleanser. So this is the Glow Recipe Blueberry Balance Gentle Cleanser. So this is what it looks like. It comes with a little pump, which I really like. Their old packaging was just in like a normal kind of like squeeze tube, um, but I'm really happy that they switched over to this. And it smells so good, you guys. It smells exactly like blueberries. This is just awesome. Can't recommend it enough. Fabulous face wash. The next thing I got from Sephora is something I've been dying to try for I think like a year now And that is the summer Fridays jet lag mask So I've actually haven't tried this and I love masks. So it just looks like this comes a little tube I've heard everyone raving about this. So I'm super excited to try it All right This is the last skincare product that I got and then I'll have a few makeup items And this is the Sunday Riley CEO glow vitamin C plus turmeric face oil And like I said, I have dry skin, but I need my eyelashes to avoid oil So I thought that um, getting a face oil would be a really great way to make sure my skin was staying hydrated and um, just like nourished but with a uh, facial oil you can really like target it where you want it you don't have to like put it under your eyes or around your eyes and I read also that this helps reduce redness and I do have a little bit of keratosis pilaris in my cheeks and like on my arms so um, I thought this would help maybe reduce a little bit of that redness in my cheeks it's really not as bad it was worse when I was younger but I think that this will be really helpful. Hopefully, we'll kind of help with that and just make sure that my skin is staying really hydrated and glowy. And um, I tried this on my hand and my hand was just like glowing the rest of the time I was in the store. Okay, getting into the last few items I got from Sephora, they're all makeup. So the thing that I actually went to Sephora for was the Game of Thrones collection. So Urban Decay released like a Game of Thrones makeup collection and I really wanted to get the Arya Stark needle sword eyeshadow brush. I don't know how to explain it, but like it was like her sword was like the base of the brush. It was super cute, but I got there and it was sold out. So I was kind of sad. And they were sold out of like all the eyeliners, almost all the lipsticks, all the brushes. They did have some of the palettes left, but I just didn't feel like I needed the whole palette. So I ended up getting the last Sansa Stark lipstick, which I'm really excited about. Sansa's 
probably one of my favorite characters. And I just wanted to have something from the collection. They had um, one Sansa lipstick left and then they had a few of the White Walker or like the Night King ones left, which were like a dark purple. And I just didn't feel like I needed that or would wear it at all like during the summer. So it's just adorable, I love it. It says Game of Thrones Urban Decay and it has like the um, Stark Direwolf sigil around the tube and it says Sansa Stark on the bottom. Uh, who's like again one of my fave characters and this is the color um so yeah it's just like a pinky nude i thought it was really pretty um it's kind of like a coral pinky nude so all right two more things from sephora so i got an hourglass brow gel this is the arch brow volumizing fiber gel in the color blonde I tried a sample of this hourglass one i think in an ipsy bag or something and i loved it so i thought this would be great for the summer just because i think that tinted brow gels are perfect for summer just for like easy makeup looks when you're not trying to like fill in your brows all the way you just want to do like some bb cream brow gel tinted lip balm and just go you know i was really excited to pick this up and i'm just happy to have a tinted brow gel i haven't had one in a while and then the last thing that i picked up from Sephora is the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. And I just think Milk is a really cool brand. I would love to work for them one day. They're based in New York City. So as I said, this is the Sunshine Skin Tint and this has SPF 30 in it, which is a maze. I'm trying to figure out how to get it out of this packaging right now. This is what it looks like. I'm in the color Fair. Um, I'm trying to get it out of the packaging right now, which I'm kind of struggling with. Guys, I seriously don't know how I'm gonna get this out. I got it, folks. Okay, this is like what the applicator looks like. It's like this little ball, basically, and it like rolls on, kind of like just like a rollerball perfume. And then you click this button to get the product out, and then you just like roll it on and then like blend out, obviously. But I was, I'm just really excited to try it. I think it's gonna be a fun, cool product for the summer. I love like the light kind of like no makeup makeup looks. Excited to try this and I'm really happy that it has SPF in it too because that's so important. So it's nice that that's already kind of like included in here. And that is all that I got from Sephora. I know it was like kind of a lot. Okay and last but not least I have three pairs of shoes that I purchased at Chattanooga Shoe Company. Sorry if the angle changed. My camera overheated so I had to change the battery. But anyway I picked up three pairs of shoes from Chattanooga Shoe Company. It's one of my favorite shoe stores in Chattanooga and all the shoes that they have are super trendy and um, also really comfortable which is the best of both worlds. The first pair are probably the ones that I'm most excited about and these are from like Mussy and Cloud. I am so excited for these. So um, if you're curious, I wear a size 10 in my shoes. I'm like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, so I'm very tall. So they look like this. They're like that flat form style, so like a flat platform. And this is my favorite kind of style of shoe right now, the flat form, because being 5'8", five, 5'9", five, I really don't need a lot of height in my shoes, but having something like this gives you like that little boost without making your feet uncomfortable and without making you too tall. So these are so comfortable. They're just this like kind of like chestnut brown suede um, on the top and I know that I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of these. They'll go with everything this summer. So you'll definitely see me sporting these a lot. All right, the next pair that I got are from the brand Sheridan Mia. These are another like platform style and they look like this. They're like a gray taupe color. They have a little bit of that like espadrille part right here, but they're really cute. Again, with the flat form, super comfy, have a really great like base to them. And they're just like gray suede taupey on the top with a little buckle right here, just slide ons. I thought these would be so, so cute for summer. Easy to throw on with a dress or a romper. Okay, the last pair of shoes that I got are from Mark Fisher. And I saw so many girls wearing shoes like this in their graduation photos for like UGA and just different colleges on my Instagram, but in like a gray or a black. So I tried on a gray, but then I was like, wait, I'm already gonna get those gray shoes. So then I just had to go for the yellow. Um, I think these are so much fun and I love yellow and I think it's so much fun for summer. So they're like wedges with like an espadrille bottom and they have like a yellow suede cover right here and then ankle clasp or whatever you call it. I have like had instances where I've wanted like a yellow shoe like this and just not had it. And I was thinking, you know what? Like, let's just go for it and get the yellow. They're so fun. And they honestly go with more than you would expect them to. I don't know, I'm just someone who really likes yellow. So I thought it'd be fun. All right guys, that's gonna be it for my haul video today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below and make sure to subscribe if you're new here. I would love to have you. I put up new videos as often as I can about like college, lifestyle, fashion, beauty, everything that I love. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, friendly reminder if you're not already. Ready. would love to have you on there it's such a great way to keep up with me outside of my videos and yeah I think that's gonna be it for today thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye